Isaac. Movie of Foxes from uh, movie reproduction. Ninja Turtles of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie star reproduction. Action figures. Did it be opening all of them? <laughs> Just kidding, I already opened them. The other three. So here you go, here's what Raphael looks like. He looks like garbage compared to the original movie star. Um, Raphael, they look completely different. And he's not even made out of the cool rubbery material. What the heck, guys? What the heck, Playmates? We got the Michelangelo. Kind of looking like the 2012 Michelangelo due to the colors. And Super Shredder. That is Super Shredder. Moving on to Leonardo with the weirdest face ever. He looks like he's... <laughs> anyways. Okay, now. Uh, I don't know. Leonardo! Leonardo, please! Anyways, uh, I can't really compare him to the original because I don't have the original, so let's just compare him to Movie Star Wrath. Um, the bit, uh, bit squishy. The movie Star Wrath, bit squishy. Oh my god, magic! Let's compare him to the original Leonardo because we don't have the other, the Movie Star one. Uh, as you can see, uh, looks a bit different. Colors are way off. I think the original movie star Leonardo had completely different colors. I think it was more muted. And what's with the warts? Good lord, he looks like he has coronavirus or the plague. Like, what, did the Black Plague happen in 1990s as well? Were they selling black rats? Anyways, um... So, uh, yeah. Uh, he also has a really awkward face. So why did they- why did they give him that kind of face? Nobody makes this expression. This is- this goes up there with a the freaking stored shell Raphael. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, terrible figure. Uh, and he's also not squishy. He's not a squishy rubber! Where's the squish? Playmates, where's the squish? Anyways, moving on to movie star Donatello. Alright, movie star Donatello. Also, I wanted to say, uh, if you didn't know, useless stats of the day, uh, the, the stunt double for Donatello in the first film played, uh, was it Nico? Uh, I think it was his name was Nico, the kid from the second film as well. So, um, yeah, there you go. Useless stat of the day for you. Kino. His name was Kino. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Go ninja, go ninja, go. The powers. Anyways, yep, here's Donatello. This is a man. This is a turtle. I don't know what else to say, I don't know, but uh he's got a bow. He's got his bow staff! He's got his bow staff! The best way! The Ah! <laughs> the best weapon ever made by mankind. Anyways, comparing him to the original, uh, to be honest, I do prefer this color a bit more compared to the original brownish color. I get why they did it, they wanted to make the turtles look a bit different, but still, it annoyed, annoyed me. But I think I still prefer this one. This one just doesn't look right. And what's with the warts? What's with the warts on all of them? Good lord, they look like... They have a disease going on. Anyways, that is all the Ninja Turtles in Super Shredder. He's gonna murder all of them with his giant mighty staff, and then Raph's gonna just go, gonna take it. That's how Super Shredder died in the film, all right? Now let's move on to the one that interested me the most. Movie Star Splinter. Let's do this, shall we? I can't wait. This one interested me most when I first saw it. I was like so confused. Alright, so. Movie Star Splinter. Alright. Now, if you actually uh, do know the Movie Star line, uh, or, you know, if you actually had the Movie Star Splinter when you were uh, younger, or if you know anything about the Ninja Turtles line, this is not. 
what movie Star Splendor looks like. I'll put up an image right now. Alright, uh, this is not what he looks like, as you can see. Uh, this is just a reprint, or a repaint of the original Splinter. So let's compare it. Um, yeah, this thing does not look right. Uh, the only thing it has over the original, I guess, is the eyes, but to be honest, I'm not a big fan of how the original Splinter looks like. He look, looks, he looks more like a weasel than a, or a groundhog than a rat. I mean, I got the NECA splinter all the way up there, but I don't know if you can see. I can grab it, but I don't feel like grabbing it. Or, okay. Yeah, it's all the way up there. Just uh, fuck hitting you a bit. I got, oh, uh, I got NECA Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Anyways, but, um, uh, let's, uh, let's compare them to the uh, original movie Star Splinter. I don't have it, so we'll just, uh, I'll just talk negative. First of all, this is clearly re- <laughs> Painted. Uh, the eyes look absolutely terrible. That's not even how the eyes look. A screenshot right here. That's not even how it looks. You probably look terrible. I don't know. I'll put up another image, I guess. And then here's the most confusing part. Why does he have yellow feet and arms? Now, you could say the yellow feet are referencing his sandals, because he wears sandals, if you didn't know. Even though, you know, you can barely see Splinter's bottom half of the films. That's because he's actually an animatronic. But, uh, he don't look like sandals. He looks like he accidentally stepped into some mustard, and accidentally dunked his hands in mustard. Like, what happened here? What happened here? This is not movie star Splinter. Boy, did you- did Playmates just get lazy and just be like, oh. We can't do movie star splinter. We don't have the moles anymore, so here you go. Which Yeah, but how did they get the original moles then? Then if if you want to be full blown lazy, then you should've just done the original turtles. But no, you decide to make do the movie stars, but for Splinter, you decide to make them. And also Playmates actually did another bundle pack with the original comic versions. But they're not the original comic versions, because the Turtles are just the 25th anniversary versions. Just, you know, actually colored. But in my opinion, the, uh, the, the reprinted ones are worse because of how they look. I prefer those a lot more. And they have the comic version Splinter and Cheddar, but they don't look like the comic versions. They look like complete Donkey Donk. So, to be honest here... Uh, now let's start with the positives. Yeah, um, now the negatives. Um, to be honest, the movie star designs for these guys, uh... uh I mean, to be honest, some of the... No, they are all just really ugly, to be honest. If you want some good movie action figures, pick out the NECA ones. But if you don't really like the movie star ones, you probably already have them. But if you don't, these are... Uh, they're okay replacements. To be honest, it's cool that they did use the original molds for the movie star ones, but... Like, what? How? That's like, that's like them re-releasing Roxanne and it's Bebop. Just coated gray. But anyways, uh... So, I'm gonna give these guys a solid 3 out of 10. Very mediocre. Could do better. I would like to review the comic book ones as well. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, soup. And I will see you all next time. If you don't like, he will come for you. We're all drunk. Do you